the Chelsea defence. Timo Werner, though, matched him, cut stride for stride, and just got a foot into the challenge because he maybe thought about a shot 25 yards out. Lost his cheek, forward ball. Chilwell, very, feels like a very open game this. Nil nil. Out to Hudson Adore on the left hand side. Hudson Adore now coming inside. Chilwell had stopped running. And as he passed the ball forward, the move breaks down. They need to be more alive than that, Chilwell, because, I mean, Hudson does a great job there. He's driven the right. field. He's taken two defenders with him. They're in the gap to run into. And Chilwell's used to running into those sort of headers. He didn't this time because he's doing his coming from an odd angle. And I think you've, you've just echoed what I said after about 30 seconds. It looks like a very open game. And open games usually lead to, not always goals, certainly plenty of chances. Wickham nil, Morecambe 1 is the latest score in League 1. Let's get news of that goal at Blackpool. Austin oh, yeah. Halewood. Well, I said before the game, Blackpool don't often enjoy this Lancashire derby, but they've had the perfect start. Shane Lavery cutting in on the left and a deflected shot looping into the Blackburn net. His seventh of the season, Blackpool 1, Blackburn nil. Look to the toy, we'll get a throw for uh, Chelsea on this near side. Of course, when these two sides met last season, but at St Mary's, Hudson Adoy was brought on as a half time substitute and then was uh, hooked by Thomas Tuchel as Chalabon has ever so well with excellent control to bring the ball past two Southampton players on the edge of his own penalty area. Hudson Adoy in that 1 1 draw was replaced 14 minutes from the end of that game as Chelsea now have got the ball up to Lukaku. Out to Aspilaqueta, first time cross, charged down, appealing for handball behind it, goes for a corner kick. Well, Chelsea seem to be getting into that position on the right hand side, Aspilaqueta getting forward as they kind of ring back, right wing back, time and time again. Didn't get the cross quite in there, but he do look lively there, and that's what Lukaku, he's much livelier, much sharper yeah. looking, you know, looked against Manchester City and against Juventus. Exeter City League Warsaw by a goal to nil in League Two, and Doncaster, who are bottom of the table in League One, oh. are leading MK Dons by a goal to nil. Corner kick for Chelsea, swung in, little flick header by Loftus King at the far post. It is Trevor Chalabar scooping and not to head the ball in after eight minutes, and Chelsea take the lead, and nobody picks up Chalabar, and Chelsea are one nil up. Yeah, he sneaked round the back post there. It's not his first goal, remember his first goal for Chelsea, he was just smashed from a 25 yards. That's sneaking round at the back post there, and I think that's what, good corner kick, went on at the near post, and he really knows exactly what he's doing. He's a diving header, he doesn't take any chances of overdoing it, but that's a great moment for him, and considering he was a big call to actually bring him in and play him, a good decision that looks to have been from Stomach to a wonder for Chelsea, and they probably just slightly deserve it on how they started. Well, that long-range beauty against Palace on the open day was, what, 30 yards out? This one was probably about three or four yards out. Chelsea are ahead. Goal at Port Vale in League Two, oh. Katie Smith. Yeah, Port Vale, Lee Norrie is nil. Jane Wilson, his second of the season, floated in from the right-hand side and he bumped it home at the near post. Port Vale won, Lee Norrie nil. Chelsea won nil up here after nine minutes. Um, certainly Thomas Tuchel will be uh, happy about that. Mind you, Chelsea very rarely lose back-to-back uh, -back home games okay. in, the, uh, in the Premier League. Indeed, since Roman Abramovich took charge in 2003, they've only suffered back-to-back -back home defeats just twice. Uh, 2011 under Andre villas and 2019 under oh. Frank Lampard, Dude. which is uh, a hell of a statistic when you think since Abramovich took charge that they don't suffer those, uh, those successive defeats here at Stanford Bridge and they're one nil up. Yeah, um, so Terry Silva's been in the ward a couple of times already. Trevor Chalabar, he's had quite an interesting start to the game. He's had two involvements in the game. One of them was dribbling past three players in his own box, which is extraordinary. I think that that's not to be a thing, um, but he looks very, very comfortable. And considering he was a player that started seeing who wouldn't have been considered, I would say, the top six or seven defenders at the club. And here he is, scoring goals and being absolutely loved by Thomas Tuchel. Not just in centre of back, but also in midfield too. What a ball from Tomacic as Villaqueta into oh. Lukaku and it required Bednarak to match it and then eventually divert the ball behind for a corner kick. But that attack had mm -hmm. pace and it certainly had penetration. Oh, it see it, yeah, but... Southampton defence. I struggle a wee bit just now on the Southampton. They're being very off, and I admire them for doing that. They're trying to leave as many men up front as possible. But the moment they are getting destroyed on that right-hand side, time and time again, the goal came from the corner, 
and there's another one coming to that green corner right now. Colchester nil, Salford one, latest score in League Two. In comes the corner for another in swinger. Headed out to the by Adam Armstrong on the edge of the area. He's faced straight away by Hudson Adoy, who gets the block challenge in. Oh, yeah. And it runs out of play and out for a throw. Newport oh. County, Mike Green left yesterday. Oops. Wayne Hatswell is the interim manager. And Newport oh, County leads yeah, Scunthorpe yeah. by a goal to nil in League Two. Let's get an update from Ellen Road. Leeds United, Watford, Will Perry. Leeds nil, Watford nil. Really good chance for the home side. Rodrigo playing in Dallas on the left hand know, side. Man. The shot saved well by Foster down low to his left hand side. It's end to end. A feisty start. A big tackle from Rose on Shackleton, setting the tone. Goalless at Ellen Road. Earlier result Manchester United 1, Everton 1. Coventry City 4, Fulham 1 in the Championship. Match of the day tonight BBC 1, 10 30. Danny Murphy and Ian Wright are joining Gary Lineker. Chalaba, the goal scorer, back towards Thiago Silva. Chalaba out towards Aspilaqueta. Might have sold him a fraction short, got there first. Forward ball to Werner. Salasu tidies up, back towards uh, McCarthy. All in orange, away towards our left-hand side. Plays it back out square. And Salasu clears long up towards Redmond and headed out of play by Thiago Silva. Goal at St. Andrews in the championship, Lee Blakeman. What a goal for Forrest. They lead 1-0. Lewis Brabham with a thunderbolt from the edge of the area into the top corner. Postage stamp against the run of play, but Forrest don't care. Birmingham nil, Forrest 1. Four points out of six since Steve Cooper took charge. Crew leading Cambridge United at Cresty Road in League 1 by a goal to nil. Hudson Adoy right hand side popping up back towards Chalaba and now it is with uh, Thiago Silva. He made that comment, didn't he, um, in midweek, Pat, where he said he thought the players looked tired mentally and physically in Turin. Okay. It's something that we addressed on Five Live social media ahead of the game. But uh, as the ball is up towards Adam Armstrong, and as he turns and faces goal and finds Walcott inside right channel and chips over the cross, which is diverted behind for a corner, they look pretty sharp today. They do, but I think the changes are made. I mean, you've brought in a number of players who are e young, like off this cheap. Uh, certainly with Calm Hudson and Adoy, they've not had that many games, so they shouldn't be tired. So that's given a little bit of lift to the team. I mean, I mean we'll let this corner go in a moment, but lost his cheek. It's a big, big moment for him. It's a case of you were looking and thinking it could have been a brilliant career, but it's not happening yet. However, he's getting one or two chances now, and you just never know. And that'd be good for England as well. Ward Prowse to take the corner kick on this near side, the right. Left arm and lock. Southampton trail by a goal to nil. Huh. Ward Prowse doesn't beat the it's first man. Headed out and then hit back in by Smallcock. 25 yards out. And he's placed that high and wide. It drops and out for a goal kick as we'll go to Molyneux and Pat Murphy. It's nil nil here against Newcastle. A lot of action. Some of it rather undistinguished. Early club from Cody on St. Maximan. No doubt who will see as a danger man. And the aforementioned yeah. match man rippled cleverly into the penalty area, cross charge down That's the right now. Newcastle Villa. Well, Newcastle are one of those sides yet to win, as are Leeds United. We've heard from Will and Ellen Rowe. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh, two of the other ones, apart from Southampton, are meeting at Turf Moor. That's for Rookie. Goal is here as well. Matthias Norman had a free kick about five yards outside the Burnley area, which deflected for a corner, but Penrith in. That's the closest really Norwich have got. Oh, as Burnley go very close indeed. Burnley nil, Norwich nil. Yeah, Oxford United now. have just taken the lead at Hillsborough in League One. Sheffield Wednesday nil, Oxford United one. Chelsea lead by a goal to nil. Salisu though for Southampton forward ball. Cut out by the head of Thiago Silva. Forward lost his cheek. Was foul. Martin Atkinson gives the free kick for Chelsea. Southampton, three times before in their history, have failed to win any of their opening seven. 96, 97, 98, 99. And before that, before the Premier League, uh, there was a campaign in 85-86 where it happened, but on all three occasions they did avoid relegation. But it um, been a, a slow start to the season for Ralph Harsen Hoodle. Hard one though, when I mean, you think about it. They have managed to get a point against uh, Manchester City, yeah. managed to get a point against Manchester City as well. It's not an easy start to the season, I don't think they've been playing poorly. Could so have had a penalty at Manchester City that they should have had. Exactly, the problem is, Premier League, it's nearly four and a half hours. It's getting close to five hours now since we scored the goal. And that, that's, that's what we need to be able to fix. And of course, as soon as you start talking about that, you realise ah. Danny Ames is gone. Who do you absolutely rely on? And also the link up between the two strikers that have got there just now. Is it happening to the level that's happening before between Adams as it was then and Ames? Well, it's actually the first time this season that they've conceded a goal in the, uh, in the first half. Uh, 
All seven goals previously had been conceded in the second half, so that is a, a statistic that has gone now with Chalabar giving Chelsea the, uh, the lead here after nine minutes. Uh, in fact, nobody has scored more goals in the first half than Chelsea in the Premier League before today. So they're a very strong side, Chelsea, in the, the first 45 minutes. Ball played up towards Adam Armstrong. Thiago Silva is there and he scoops it towards Chilwell. He volleys the ball downfield, bounces over the halfway line. The car who thought he was being held by Bednarek. Southampton put the ball on. Rudiger will glance over his left shoulder and will pass the ball back to Edouard Mendy. Adam Armstrong closes the Chelsea goalkeeper down, all in grey. It's a, a late challenge and that's been better by Walker Peters. Referee again has played the advantage. Timo Werner won't get the better of Salasu. And only now is Aspilicueta getting back to his knees as Chelsea try and press Ward Prowse and Southampton come away with the ball. Yeah, there's a couple of complaints from Chelsea fans there about uh, possible free kicks on three players in a row there. I quite like the, the, the kind of current rule of, you know, it has to obviously be a free kick. Uh, the soft ones are people going around early, oh, especially yeah. aren't giving it just now. And it's leading it. It's, it's certainly leading, I think, to more open games. And it's happened in effect on this one already. The familiar voice of Pat Nevin, who is on BBC Radio oh, Five yeah. Live this afternoon. And, and as popular as ever around these parts is, uh, is Pat. Last night, he was uh, remembered by... Well, there was a number of, uh, of football fans, not just Chelsea supporters, but there was a Tottenham Hotspur fan, there was a Queen's Park Rangers supporter who were reminiscing fondly about Pat's playing days as Azpilicueta forward to Timo Werner. And Werner will get there before Walker Peters, right-hand side of the penalty area, crosses Walker Peters, stands his ground and blocks it behind for a corner kick. But that was even an Evertonian, so Noah, Phil, Jim, Rob and John et al. It was a pleasure Ooh. to meet you in your in your company last night. Especially in my own stomping ground. Oh, stomping grounds up there. The mean streets of Kensington. <laughs> and certainly how Stamford Bridge has changed since Pat was, uh, was playing here back yeah. in the day. Chelsea lead by a goal to nil. Five live in the World Service on the know. BBC. And it's a corner kick to Chelsea on that right-hand side. And it's swung over now. And Rudiger is up inside the six-yard area. Couldn't get over it. And uh, it drops out of play for a goal kick. Let's get an update in the rugby union. Leicester Saracens, James Burridge. 20 minutes gone, Saracens leading by six points to nil, two Owen Farrell penalties, and this is the classic Saracens of old. Kicking the ball high, backing their defence, backing the work at the breakdown, forcing Leicester to make mistakes in their own 22. Farrell on song, six nil Saracens. Goal at Ellen Road, Will Perry. Needs one, Watford nil, it's the big Spaniard who's got the goal, Diego Lorente, who's back in the Leeds team, it's from a corner from the right hand side, a scramble from a Watford point of view, Foster couldn't collect, and Lorente just hooks it past him, 1-0 Leeds. Queen's Park Rangers have just taken the lead as well at home to Preston North End in the, uh, in the Championship, Preston have drawn their last five in the Championship, but behind there, and Bristol Rovers lead to the town by a goal to nil in League Two. You're up to date with the goals as they go in on BBC Radio 5 Live. Nearly 20 minutes played here and Chelsea lead by a goal to nil and they've just been awarded a free kick. There's now been a goal at Molyneux. Pat Murphy. It's gone to Wolves and it's scored by the North Korean Wang. Great work by Nevers. Survived the tackle, hurdled the challenge, went on 20 yards. Perfect pass to Wang. Right foot across the Excellent goal. Wolves won, Newcastle nil. Bolton Wanderers won, Shrewsbury Town nil is the latest score in League One. Ward Prowse forward, Walcott, Wolves will played behind him, back with Ward Prowse to Southampton keep possession on this right hand side, back forward then to Walcott trying to get away from Chilwell, inside to Romeo, sweeps it short and forward, Adam Armstrong will shoot, took a deflection, actually took the ball up in the air and Mendy, but it took a lot of the pace off the ball and he was made to make that save on the right hand side. Well, some of them you don't want a deflection because that sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, that just kills the pace in the ball, but it's a bit lively there, and there's a little bit of space in the kind of almost a 10 position at the moment, uh, so they haven't been able to create any clear for chances from it. We mentioned the Queen's Park Rangers are ahead, let's get news of that goal from Ella Saunders. Redmond's out to Walker Peters cutting inside. Now he finds Walcott. He pulls it back. Walcott hits it. 
the sort of the Southampton supporters actually thought it had got in. He hit it true and low right footed, and that was very, very close as Portsmouth lead Sunderland by a goal to nil in League One. Well, we've seen the, there was a position, there's a 10 position again, a lot of bad space. I want to say it was 30 seconds ago. Which has got it again there. What price spotted that? Keeps it on the half volley. I suspect men behind it covered though. But it was a good hit and a real warning to Chelsea because they need to make sure that either Kovacic or Lofty keeps to get into that area and kills that space at the moment. So Thompson are doing a good job of getting in there. Nine goals last season was his best scoring season of his career. Jorginho, uh, sorry, Kovacic forward out to Hudson Adori on this left hand side. Back once more to Kovacic, she goes square, cries of shoot, Loftus cheek to Werner who slips back into his feet, cuts inside, hits it low, comes to Loftus cheek. What a bit of screamer, hit it on the body first time, right foot is wide, go on it, tight, get the one of the side. Hearts, two mother will know, Hearts on top of the table as this goes on, Stephen King with a free kick, perfectly delivered from 25 yards, curling over the wall and the goalkeeper after O'Hara had fouled Banningimi and O'Hara will have to watch, has already been booked. Hearts two, mother will know, midway through the first half. Peter for a third bottom of the championship, a leading Bristol City at London Road by a goal to nil. And Stevenage, uh, no win in nine. Hartlepool United yet to win away from home, but at Broadhall Way, Stevenage lead Hartlepool by a goal to nil. That was close from Loftus Cheek. Not only close, but the technique was absolutely fantastic. I didn't see it coming at all there because it came to his right foot. It seemed to be a lot bit too high for him. Getting thin to volleyed out from about 20 yards there. You just expected the Tim Esslin in top corner, didn't you? It didn't. It went just over, but uh, just looking very dangerous every time they break. Tomorrow, Five Live Premier League Sunday, the two commentaries, Tottenham Aston Villa at two, followed by Liverpool against Manchester City at half past four with our correspondent, John Murray. And then Monday Night Club on Monday from seven will uh, dissect all of the weekend's action and then that will be That's followed by a programme well. all about Tom Brady as we go into an international break. And Maud Prowse just catching Chilwell, and that'll be a free kick to Chelsea, who lead by a goal to nil. Apparently. They're probably worthy of it, but that's not to say they're completely and utterly dominating Southampton. Southampton have got a real bravery, the way they go and attack and get forward. And I think there will be more chances, certainly even just before half, half time, because it's a very, very open game. But uh, so far, Thomas is obviously the happier manager. Well, if you cast your memory back to last October, Werner had put Chelsea two up. And uh, still Southampton, not once but twice, were able to fight back and get a share of the spoils. We told you that Portsmouth had taken the lead at Fratton Park. Details of that goal from Chris Wise. Well, swift move in slick condition. Portsmouth won, Sunderland nil. Lee Brown collected it on the left, brought it back for Marcus Harness. Really good composure from Harness. Touch and drive, low into the corner. Portsmouth won, Sunderland nil. Certainly the uh, slick conditions uh, here at Stamford Bridge as well, due to the uh, persistent rain. As Werner doesn't control the ball, Salasu up towards Teller, turns on the halfway line and won't get the better of uh, Chalabar. Blackpool have got a second goal, Blackpool 2, Blackburn Rovers nil in the championship. Pat. It's having a bit of an effect in the game, isn't it? The fact that it's continually raining, a couple of players aren't losing their footing, so I mean, if you're a player who's running towards a defender, you, that can be what well in your advantage at the moment. Um, certainly Werner, they've tried to do it, managed to fall over instead of getting by a defender, but... Uh, Mistakes will be made. MK Dons unbeaten in nine have equalised at Doncaster. Doncaster Rovers won, MK Dons won. Let's get news of that goal from Blackpool uh, from Austin Hill. Yeah, Blackpool doubled their lead. Well, Shane Lavery, the Seaside's top scorer, got that first goal, but he had to come off a few minutes ago with a knee injury. There were groans around Bluefield Road, but it doesn't matter because the man who replaced him, Jerry Yates, two minutes on the pitch, he got a close header from a corner to double Blackpool's lead. Blackpool two, Blackburn nil. Let's get an update from Turf Moor, Mas Faruqi. There's no-no here, but Chris would put in, let's say, a pretty forceful challenge on Osin Kabak, and there's been a bit of a scrap here. Both sides getting quite involved. The referee starting to deal out a couple of yellow cards. Still Burnley, no Norwich there we now. There go. Hudson Adoy for Chelsea, who leads by a goal to nil. Chilwell on the overlap. Left hand, left corner of the penalty area. Oh. Goes inside, Kovacic, the yeah. return ball to Chilwell. Takes it in his stride. Good save by McCarthy. Almost found the gap in between that near post. But McCarthy with his legs turned it away, and Chelsea ah. will try and win it back by Rudiger. But another opportunity for the home side, Pat. Yeah, Brian Bova, Kovacic, but it's great to see Chilwell doing that. You know, he had a tough time during the summer, obviously didn't get any time for, for England. But getting to that byline, which he was doing consistently, obviously, before he came to Chelsea and last season, 
Well, that's the first time I've just about seen him do it this season. Really good play, unlucky not to score. Werner runs into Salasu, wins it back though, as he nibbled away at the Southampton defender. Romeo now will try and release Tello, he's got plenty of pace. And Tello will get there. Oh, yeah. Chalabar has got there too to cut off that option of going on the outside. Supporting run now for Morgan slow, Peters. Yeah. Inside to Redmond. Inside left channel, the area turns it towards the near post, towards Adam Armstrong. Rudiger puts the ball out of play for a throw. Salford have got a second goal at Colchester. Colchester nil, Salford two. Bolton two, Shrewsbury Town nil. And Plymouth have just taken the lead as well. Yeah. Plymouth unbeaten in nine, are leading at Sinsel Bank. Lincoln City nil, Plymouth Hi. one in League One. You're up to date. Romeo back to Ward Prowse. Pat. Yeah, they look very good in the break. Only said had purely for pace. No Theo Walker has got plenty of pace, but Walker Peters is getting there time and time again from that left back sort of area. The problem they've got is Chelsea have got plenty of pace as well back there. Also a bit of nose, so they haven't been able to get through yet. Redmond runs into Kovacic, gets the ball back, looking for the return from Walker Peters. Chalabar with a, a well timed challenge. I know you were raving about him earlier, but of course he's so versatile, he can play in the midfield as well as defence. He can as a centre midfield player, and he looked perfectly comfortable there, but you know, the modern way of the game, if you're a centre back these days, particularly in a three, you're expected to be able to come out with the ball. So, if you're a part-time midfielder, part-time defender, that's perfect. Only 22 years of age, such an emotional reaction, I remember when he scored that. Beauty against Crystal Palace on the, uh, the opening day. Thiago Silva gets a foot in. Ball out towards that left-hand side. It's Walker Peters who delivers the cross. It's stabbed away by Chalabar. And then the ball played back to Romeo. Southampton keeping the ball. Crew have got a second goal at home yeah. to Cambridge. Yeah. And Morecambe have got a second goal away at Wickham, also in League One. Redmond's on the attack. Left corner of the penalty area. Plays it behind him. Walker Peters delivers the cross, headed away by Chalabar, edge of the oh, yes, area, so headed by Loftus Cheek, Hudson Odoi, surrounded by Southampton shirts, but manages to put it out to Werner, and a lot of space to run into for Timo Werner on the right hand side. Goes on the outside of Salasu, and it runs behind for oh, a corner. Two Chelsea who lead 1 0 as Preston have equalised at Queen's Park Rangers. QPR 1, oh, Preston that's the same 1. Very, that's... You know exactly what's going to happen when Timo Werner gets the ball and he's got half a fish to run in it. He's just going to pin his ear back oh, yeah. and he's going to go for it. And he's got a trick when he gets up to oh, yeah. the defender. Everyone knows the trick, but he still doesn't matter. It's just using the pace with the slightest of dummies. 